Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 3. We're going to be breaking down the trailer, the new photos, and also a new casting for Supergirl. We have a new regular coming to the show, so we need to break this all down. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's first off start with the breaking news we have a new cast member who's going to be a series regular this is a big deal because they are going to be a series regular this actor who has been cast is peter Sargent. we actually saw her on some behind the scenes photos the other day i'll include them in the video right now so you can see what she looks like actually suited up as her character thanks to canada graphs links in the description to canada graphs's blog where you can check out all the other photos to do with her and the scenes that they were shooting for supergirl the other day so yeah we knew peter was coming in but now it's been confirmed she is a series regular this is a huge deal because this is a new regular so the big question is is she replacing anyone there's been rumors going around that maybe staz and julie that being william and andrea aren't going to be regulars for this whole season but that hasn't been confirmed yet so i'm not saying it's confirmed so potentially she could be like replacing other characters or they're just adding another regular to the show i think it's more likely they're just adding another person and so i'm really excited about this because her character that she's playing is very cool and it's linked to mr mix's pillow which is very very exciting because she is a fifth dimensional imp on the show Okay, so she's going to be joining Season 6 of Supergirl, Peter Sargent. You guys may know her from a couple of shows, one being Snowfall. But she's going to be playing the character called Nixley. I'm not sure if I'm actually pronouncing it right. It took me such a long time to actually learn how to say Mr. Mixia Spitalik's name. Way back when he first came in Season 2 of Supergirl, I had to learn that for the videos. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to do the same thing for her because she's going to be sticking around for at least like most of the season if she is a regular. So yeah, she's going to be playing Nixley, a quirky and kind fifth dimensional imp. Wrongly imprisoned in the Phantom Zone and driven by a tragic backstory, she helps Kara when she least expects it. And their budding friendship not only heals some of Nixley's emotional pain, but helps Nixley reclaim her own power. So that is the big casting news, and now, who is this character, and why are they linked to Mixie? Well, her character that she's playing is in fact the partner of Mr. Mixie Spillick in the comics, so I'm presuming she is going to be somehow related to him in a way that they were probably husband and wife. And from the behind the scenes, it does look like they're going to have some sort of friction. So she is heavily linked to him, and when he shows up, she's going to be showing up. But with her being a series regular and her being wrongly imprisoned and trapped in the Phantom Zone, this means we're first going to meet her inside the Phantom Zone. And so it's exciting to see all of these different people somehow incorporated into the Phantom Zone storyline, that it's not just Melissa by herself. Making the storyline actually really important because there is other people and, you know, she's not alone. That's very exciting. And so they're going to have some sort of budding friendship, as it says in the description from the Deadline article. And so she's going to help Kara when she least expects it. And she's also going to have a tragic backstory. So I'm presuming they're going to go into all of this during the season. So that's all exciting. And hopefully you guys are ready for this character who is heavily linked to Mixie in the comics. And Mixie is also coming back. So there is a definitely a lot to look forward to because I think this character is going to be a cool addition to the show. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Let's talk about the trailer for next week's episode. Also, they've released photos. We're going to be breaking them down right here and right now. So, basically, the trailer for next week teases what's going to be happening. This episode is titled Phantom Menaces. Obviously, that is a reference to Star Wars, but it's mainly a reference to the Phantoms that are going to be in this episode. Obviously, in the Phantom Zone and also the one who's still on Earth, because that's how last episode ended. And that's actually how Jean starts this trailer, because he's here, he's talking to McGann, as you can see in this shot, and he's like, there is one still here. And so they're going to be going after this phantom who has escaped and somehow affected Silas. I don't know if he's going to be affected in this episode, but I'm presuming he's going to show up somehow. And he's been notified by Silas's phone call, and I think he left a voicemail or something. And then we move on to the next shot and we see this phantom. I'm presuming it's the same phantom. And he's 
what looks like in a room. So it doesn't look like Silas's apartment. There is a screen in the background. I'm presuming he's been captured, right? Well, I don't think this is the Phantom that Supergirl and zor said they're gonna capture because I don't believe in the Phantom Zone there is any tech of some sort and this looks like a normal room like back on Earth. So I'm presuming Team Supergirl, excluding Supergirl obviously, has caught the Phantom that attacked Silas or literally phased out of Silas at the end of last episode and it seems like he is here, he is strapped down and he is struggling and that's what you're seeing in the trailer. Then we go back to the Phantom Zone, you've got Supergirl and zor as they fall down and it seems like they're in a very similar place or at least like most of the sets that they have look similar to the place that they were in last episode. And I don't know if they're being like kicked off of somewhere, if they've been attacked by phantoms or are they making the drop on a phantom to try and capture one? Because that's how they left off last episode. Kara said, let's go catch ourselves a phantom. Okay, so we move over to the next shot. Kara is here. She is again inside the cave and I'm not sure how successful they're going to be in capturing this phantom, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we go back. We have Lex. Lex is going to be playing a part in this episode. Lena is going to be heavily into the Lex stuff, so you're going to mainly see scenes between them, I believe. Also, Lena is going to be more involved with Team Supergirl as well, as you will see later in the trailer and in some of the photos. Okay, so yeah, Lex is going to be continuing. He's obviously exonerated after the end of last episode where the trial went horribly wrong in favor of Lena and everyone else and it all went in Lex's way. Okay, so Alex is here. She is crying and she's talking about like how Kara is stuck in this cold kind of hell and it seems like Kara is very fine with being there. Like, yes, she wants to escape, but at least she's got her father there. And so it's kind of strange to see the opposite. Like, I get that she's very sad, but I don't know if that was me. I would believe that Supergirl is going to find a way out. But anyway, I mean, it makes complete sense that she is sad. And I'm presuming this is a continuation off of where Kelly and Alex left off last episode because Kelly is comforting Alex once again. Okay, so back in the Phantom Zone. Supergirl is here in the same place and then we go to the next shot and she is struggling. It seems like she's been attacked. I'm presuming this is in their attempt to get this phantom. I don't know if it's the same kind of location as the other place. It looks more like this is outside due to the lighting being a bit more light on the hair. Like there is a top light, like it's emulated moonlight. So I think they have definitely tried to get a phantom and Supergirl and zor are struggling. So can't wait to see how that plays out. We go to the tower and like I said, Lena's more part of Team Supergirl as you can see in this shot. She reacts to something going on and I'm presuming it's this one right here. So you see a bunch of phantoms, like five phantoms literally jump out from the floor or I'm presuming from like a portal. And I think this is in the tower. It kind of looks like the tower. However, there's a possibility that this could be in a totally different location. But I'm presuming with Lena's reaction, cut right before this, this is probably happening as they're trying to get into the Phantom Zone once again. Or maybe the Phantoms have found a way in and that's the portal you saw at the end of last episode. So you have these five Phantoms and they just kind of hop out of nowhere and they blast their hands out and they're like trying to be scary and stuff and I guess they just be in Phantoms as Phantoms do. And... Yeah, it just looks cool, and I'm looking forward to that. That was a very exciting shot. And then we go over to Alex, and she is talking to Jean about, like, how he can keep on walking forward and be kind of optimistic. And he's like, you know, we have to do this for Kara. But then I think it's weird. Like, I complained about this last night on my stream, how I think Jean was not written like his normal self in the last episode when he totally broke down and was shouting at Silas. So it's strange to see him doing a talk like this, inspiring Alex when he was literally the same as Alex, but like being actually rude last episode. So I don't know, I think, you know, different writers, I guess they just didn't interpret the character as a whole right last episode. And this seems more like normal Jean. So I'm looking forward to normal Jean. I don't know, it was just a bit weird last episode. It didn't feel like him. Anyway, let's move on to the photos for this episode. It seems like Kara is injured here and she meets someone new. This doesn't look like anyone we've seen. This guy's got a bit of a bull patch at the top of his head. He's got 
different clothing on. This definitely isn't Zorel. So it's someone else inside the Phantom Zone. So Supergirl is going to be facing them off or at least talking to them. It seems more so probably stuck there as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. So you got like some sort of body bag or something. And it seems like Brainy and Jean have actually captured that phantom. That is my presumption from seeing this shot. And you can see like the tech in the background. So I really do think this is the captured phantom. And so that pretty much confirms my theory about that phantom shot in the trailer earlier. Okay, so let's continue. Outside we have our heroes all suited up. And Brainy is using some sort of device to track something down. I'm presuming it is the phantom. And they probably like break into Silas's apartment or wherever that phantom has gone off to. And they capture him, they bring him back, and that's where you see the last photo. Okay, so inside one of the caves in the phantom zone, you've got this really, really nice photo of Kara. And it seems like Kara is listening to whoever is talking. I don't know if it's Aurel or if it's that new guy. It could be Simon Webb because this guy has been cast and he's playing a character called Philippe in this episode. And we've never met a person called Philippe in the show. I can exclusively reveal that to you guys, but I'm not 100% sure if that guy is the Philippe person that has been cast for this episode. He's just going to be like a one-off character, I believe. But that is very likely considering that the CW have confirmed that character is showing up in this episode. But let's move on to the final photo. So we have the whole team here, and it seems McGunn is literally meta cuffed up or like alien cuffed up i don't know what to call it anyway restraining her and she is for some reason strapped down to this bed so it seems like maybe she is trying to get control of the phantom that they captured or maybe she has been infected by the phantom kind of like with what happened with silas at the end of last episode so what do you guys think about all of this lots of exciting news i can't wait for next episode i'm really excited about that but also, I'm super excited about the new character that's coming, Nixley, played by Peter Sargent. She's going to be a new regular on the show. So let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and leave that comment. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any daily videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see